Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the first episode of my vlog. Uh, in my vlog, we're going to be covering things that are a passion of mine and kind of just following me through my life. This is a project I've been wanting to work on for quite a while. Uh, I just keep pushing it off because honestly, I don't, I've never done a vlog before. I've never done video editing. I've never done anything like this, but I have a lot of uh, passions and projects I like to work on and do, and I really wanted to start vlogging and sharing them with you guys, and I hope you guys will come with me on this journey and join me and my dog, Wicket, and my other dog, Mackenzie, who get to know each other and have a good time. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I got lots to show you. I have a uh, big thing coming up tomorrow morning uh, that I'll put in this vlog, so I'm going to kind of try and do my vlogs as a weekly timeline, and I'll try to post them every Monday around the same time, hopefully at like 9 a.m. Uh, we're gonna see how it goes. Like I said, I'm completely new to this, never done this before. Kinda nervous, kinda excited, and I hope you guys join me along the way as I hopefully progress and get better at this and put out some good content for you guys. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll get back with you. All right, as I was telling you guys earlier, I had a big thing coming up, and I had said tomorrow. Now this is actually a few days later, uh, that was Monday, this is now Friday afternoon, yeah, Friday afternoon, and I was not able to film what I wanted to film, I actually wanted to do an unboxing, I was really upset, I had a guy come and he was fixing my washing machine, so I wasn't able to film my unboxing, now the unboxing was, the box is actually right here, it was for some animals, and I didn't want to wait. Uh, I had to keep kind of running up and down stairs. So I wanted to unbox it really fast and make sure that they were in good health um, as fast as possible. So that's why I ended up missing filming it, which is unfortunate because I love unboxing videos and I really wanted to film one for you guys. But I can give you kind of an update on what I got and show you my enclosure for those animals. I'm super excited. They're super awesome. I've been enjoying them the last few days. Instead of filming everything like I should have been, I've just kind of been hanging out with them. So um, We're actually upstairs in my reptile room and I will show you the enclosure right now. So it's actually right over here. As you can see, uh, they are right there. If I can center it. There we go. Now they are pancake tortoises. I got both of them from Tortoise Town, Tortoise Town USA. I guess just Tortoise Town. Tortoise Town. Uh, they were great to deal with. I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, it took a little bit for them to ship them out because the weather has been pretty cruddy. I can show you outside. It is, if it focuses. It's cold out. It's been very cold out. Um, we had a couple of warm days which is when they got shipped, which was nice, but for the most part, it's been super cold out. So let's kind of talk about the enclosure that I got for them, and I'll talk about them, the two of them. I only got two, if you could see in the picture. But we'll kind of just talk about it. So this, this is their UV light. Um, it's hard to tell right now because that window right there actually lets in the morning light, and it kind of comes to about here, so they get like plenty of sunlight. Hey, little guy. They get plenty of sunlight. You can see they're super uh, inquisitive. And this is the male on top right there, and that's the female. So I got a male and a female. And he likes to try and bite my fingers a lot. Um, I name, I'm naming him, I think I'm going to go with Benedict and Maple. And I'm picking those names because I thought it would be cute to name them after breakfast foods. So Benedict, like Eggs Benedict, and Maple, like maple syrup so I thought that was kind of cute and they're a little clumsy and they're hilarious they're eating great so back to their enclosure because I get sidetracked super easily this is actually just a cement mixing tub that I got from Home Depot this like I said is their UV light I wanted to get plenty of UV as I said that lets in sunlight it covers about half the enclosure but the light kind of blocks out some of the sunlight and it's not exactly 12 hours of sunlight so I try to give them as much UV as possible this heat bulb here also is supposed to give off a large amount of the light spectrum so uh, 
I think it's called a sun glow bulb from Petco, but mostly it's for heat, but I figured it could also help give, give some sunlight uh, or some more light spectrum for them. Uh, if you don't know, tortoises need a lot of sunlight uh, in order to get vitamin D so they can digest calcium so they don't get any bone disease and their shells develop properly. So what I got in here, I have a lot of grass that I planted. I had to make sure I get unfertilized grass. Uh, the substrate is a organic soil without any additives and then I also have some coconut husk in there. Um, then I got these little tiles or rocks, kind of like slate rocks from Petco. And then I have a bunch of these little succulents and I made sure that they are they're off. Uh, edible succulents, succulents that they could eat. I don't remember any of the names. If I can find what they were, I will try to post them down in the description for you guys. Like I said, I got a bunch of grass. I also ordered some special grass. You can kind of see down here, this grass is actually like a little bit different of a grass than this. This is brand new grass. And then here and in the corner over here is actually a little bit more of, of another type of grass. It's like a orchard grass or something. And then I got these, these two are one type of succulent, succulent, and then I got these two are another, and then over here is another type of succulent, and over there is a final type of succulent, and then I got a couple of these vining plants uh, that they can also eat. In here is a piece, is a small cutting of, of uh, dandelion, that's what it is, and I think I got a geranium, like, bud under here that's that hasn't started growing out yet um what else i got this little this is their hot spot but it's also like a hide for them they actually haven't hid once since i got them uh you can kind of see they're they're pretty active especially the male he's the most active the females pretty active they both eat every day and make sure they make sure they're eating something at least every day and uh try to monitor how active they are. Like I said, the male is the most active, but the female's getting more and more active. She's just a little bit more mellow than him. Uh, what else? Oh, I have some sphagnum moss here. This is uh, this is mostly just for, for bedding. I do spray it all down once a day for the plants. They're a dry land species, but I do want to water the plants to keep them alive so they can keep eating them. Um, but the sphagnum moss, they actually just kind of enjoy sleeping on it, so I just kind of have that there. It's on the hot side, so it's mostly dry. Even if I spray it down, it kind of dries out real fast. Their hot spots are probably about 105 degrees right here, um, and they have a really good gradient. It goes all the way down to, like, I think in some of these, like, little crevices, it probably goes down to the high 70s, but for the most part, it's about 80s over here. Um... What else do we have? That's that's pretty much it for the enclosure. Uh, for their food, you can see here I have hay. Um, I got one type of hay, and basically the plan is to keep just buying different types of hay to just keep in there regularly. Uh, like alfalfa, orchard grass, uh, anything like that. Just want to get the regular hays. Uh, I also have this Missouri tortoise chow that I'm, I put in there every other day and then I put on their on the opposite day that I feed this I feed them some sort of vegetable like let's see I feed them I fed them collard greens yesterday I'll feed them things like that uh, and then maybe every once in a while I'll give them a little bit of a treat like a little bit of carrot or something but probably not more than once every couple of weeks for that <clears throat> I have this Reptical vitamin D3 calcium uh, again they need a lot of vitamin D and calcium so their their bones and uh, shells develop properly and they grow properly they'll get this about two to three times a week excuse me uh, and baths uh, when they're young like this it's important to kind of bathe them two to three times a week also uh, just about five ten minutes in 90 degree water so I just kind of toss them in about an eighth inch of water. It kind of helps make sure that they're staying hydrated uh, in case they're not doing it themselves, which they should be all right with that because they're a grassland species. But mostly it also helps keep them regular, keep them regular with their bowels. I do have, uh, if you saw it, their water dish. 
which I they like to get dirt in very often, but I do keep water in there with them. Uh, I they I've seen them drink it plenty of times. The male's trying to escape. Look at Benedict. Look at him. What are you doing? You want to come out? I can let you walk around, I guess. He was chasing my finger around earlier. Come here. Let's see if we can get him to do it again. He he's trying to eat my finger. He'll do it. Yeah, he's gonna eat it. 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 Look at him. He's biting me. He's hilarious. I'm I'm not food. I'm not food, Benedict. And he's gonna chase it. He wants to eat my finger. He's hilarious. Benedict, I am not food. Ow. That one kinda hurt a little bit. Alright. I know you wanna chase my finger and, and eat it, but we're not gonna do that right now. Anyway, I thought that was hilarious. He did it for about, again, instead of me filming them and telling you guys about them, I was sitting in here playing with them and he was chasing my finger around for like a good 15 minutes earlier. I, I found it hilarious. So, that is everything about them. I do have some other pets and I will give you guys kind of a little tour. I don't have a ton. Not a ton of things in here. Um, but I'll give you guys a tour, a tour of what I got and show you. I kind of got lots of ideas of things to do for this channel. Uh, I don't want to give too much away, but I am going to be moving in the next few months. And yeah, I got a lot going on. So just um, let me know down in the comments what you think about their names. First off, Benedict again and Maple. I thought it was adorable because they're pancake tortoises and it's breakfast foods. But you let me know what you think. And if you've had any other ideas that you thought would be better. But right now, I'm kind of partial to that. Benedict is eating. They're both eating, actually. Look at them munching on the line. She's eating some of that grass over there. All right, I just can't get enough of them. People are probably sick of me talking about them. I keep posting pictures on my Snapchat and Instagram, and people are probably crazy sick of it. So I am going to go ahead and end this vlog. Um, I've been starting to edit, edit it, edit, edit it already, and it is taking me forever. It's a lot of work. So for all those YouTubers out there who spend a lot of time and vlog every day and edit those videos every day, Hats off to you, it is a lot of work, and like I said earlier, I have no idea what I'm doing, so everything I'm learning, I mean, it literally took me a couple hours to figure out how to edit two, the first two minutes of video that you'll see in this vlog, so uh, I hope you guys enjoy it, and yeah, leave a, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. I uh, hope you, if you want to follow me on my journey as I kind of move in the next couple months, update you on, on Benedict and Maple and give you my little room tour, please subscribe, like this video, and uh, I'll be trying to drop a video every Monday. Yeah, I'm going to try to do every Monday, uh, every week. So, let me know what you think. Thanks, guys.